This crime documentary is about the worst serial killer doctor of modern times. He was from the United Kingdom. His name is Harold Shipman, also known as Dr. Death. The Angel of Death and the Good Doctor was a British GP. He is also one of the most prolific serial killers doctor in the history of Britain. He was found guilty of 15 killings of his patients. He was sentenced to life imprisonment with a recommendation that he never be released. The serial killer Dr. Harold Shipman Inquiry, a two-year investigation of all deaths certified by him, investigated his crimes. The inquiry identified 218 victims and estimated his total victim count to be 250. Most of the victims were women. Harold Shipman's youngest confirmed victim was a 41-year-old male. As a result of his crimes, the British authorities reviewed the legal structure concerning health care and medicine and implemented significant changes. He is the first British doctor to have been found guilty of murdering his patients, for such a long period of time. Harold Frederick Shipman Harold Frederick Shipman was born on 13 January, 1946, on the Best Ward Council estate in Nottingham. Harold Shipman was particularly close to his mother, who died of lung cancer when he was 17. Her death came in a similar way to the method in which he would later kill his victims. In the last stages of her disease, she had morphine administered at home by a doctor. Shipman witnessed his mother's pain be eased by morphine up until her death. Harold Shipman graduated from Leeds School of Medicine in 1970, and started working at Pontefract General Infirmary in Pontefract, West Riding of Yorkshire. Shipman took his first position as a GP at the Abraham Lloyd Medical Center in Todmorden, West Yorkshire, in 1974. Harold Shipman was caught forging prescriptions of pethidin for his personal use in 1975. He was given fine and ordered to attend a rehabilitation clinic. He then became a GP at the Donnybrook Medical Center in Hyde. Harold Shipman continued working in Hyde and began his own surgery. He was interviewed on the Granada television documentary World in Action on how the mentally ill should be treated in the community, in 1983. After his conviction, the interview was rebroadcast on Tonight with Trevor MacDonald. In March 1988, People expressed concern to John Pollard, the coroner for the South Manchester district, about the high death rate among Harold Shipman's patients, particularly concerned about the large amount of cremation forms for elderly women that he had needed countersigned. This matter was investigated by the local police, but they did not find any evidence against the mass murderer. The police investigation was abandoned. After this investigation Harold Shipman killed three more patients. His last victim was Kathleen Grundy, found dead at her home on June 24, 1998. Harold Shipman was the last person to see her alive. He issued a death certificate, mentioning old age as the main reason for her death. In the meantime a taxi driver called the police that he suspected Harold Shipman that he had murdered 21 patients, who were under his care. His last victim's daughter found a will apparently made by her mother in which did not mention about her children, and left huge amount of money Harold Shipman. She reported this matter to the police. The police started investigation, for which Grady's body was exhumed and an autopsy discovered traces of diamorphine, often used for pain relief in terminally ill patients. Shipman claimed that Woodruff was an addict and showed them comments in his computerized medical journal that a program on the computer showed they had been written after her death. For this matter Harold Shipman was arrested and charged for making fake will and Grady's murder. The investigating officers found a pattern of his administering lethal doses of diamorphine, signing patients' death certificates, and then falsifying medical records to make it seem like they were in poor health. 
Harold Shipman's trial began on 5 October, 1999, on Preston Crown Court. The jury found Harold Shipman guilty of 15 counts of murder and one count of forgery, and sentenced him to life imprisonment on all 15 counts of murder with a recommendation that he never be released, to be served concurrently with a four-year sentence for forging Grundy's will. Good evening. After six days of deliberating, the jury at Preston Crown Court returned late this afternoon. Harold Chipman, the Manchester family doctor, was found guilty of murdering 15 of his patients, all of them women. He is now the biggest convicted killer in recent legal history. Chipman was given 15 life sentences. The judge said his actions defied description. It's now emerging that Chipman was probably responsible for many more deaths. 13 January 2004 the 58-year-old serial killer British doctor, Harold Shipman was found hanging in his cell, and was pronounced dead. A statement released by the authorities that Harold Shipman had hanged himself from the bars on the windows of his cell using bed sheets. In January 2001, senior West Yorkshire detective Chris Gregg was chosen to lead an investigation into 22 of the West Yorkshire deaths. Afterwards, the Shipman inquiry, submitted in July 2002, concluded that he had killed at least 215 patients between 1975 and 1998, during which time he practiced in Todd Morden, West Yorkshire, and Hyde, Greater Manchester. Kindly don't forget to subscribe our channel for more crime investigation and serial killers documentaries. Thank you for watching this video.